اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلاۃ والسلام علی محمد و علیہ الطیبین الطاہرین رب اشرح لي صدری امری واحلل من لسانی یفقهوا قولي رب زدنی علما سو السلام علیکم ایوری ون اینڈ وی ار اسٹارٹنگ اے ڈے ارلی اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اینٹیسپیٹنگ دا منتھ آف اینڈ for reflection today is uh, from chapter 2 surah bakra uh, ayah 185 where allah says the month of ramadan is that in which the quran was revealed as guidance to mankind and with clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion so already this verse is telling us that in ramadan in only fasting uh, that it's so special although that is a large part of it part of the blessing the sacredness of ramadan comes from the fact that the guidance of for mankind um, i like to think the love letter to from the creator to his beloved creation uh, that came out of ramadan so that made it doubly uh, sacred and uh, he also calls it uh, the quran also calls it uh, clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion criterion means it is the standard it is the filter by which we judge by which we on what we base ourselves on so as we anticipate uh, the arrival of the blessed month of ramadan you know um many things uh, many people will tell us that it's very exciting and that they go to it and that is totally true part of us is looking forward to the month of ramadan and some of us may be having a mixture of emotions i don't know about you but i know um life tends to be busy and the month always seems to arrive sooner than we're ready and there's still lots of lots to be done lots to get ready for a list of chores projects not yet completed and um you know sometimes that can Um, overwhelm us because we want to uh, we want to kind of have this space in order to slow down and yet uh, modern life keeps going on and it it you know it um, would benefit us to remind ourselves that the coming invitation is uh, the coming month is an invitation it's an invitation to be his guest to pause to slow down to turn inwards to connect to him and to focus on what really matters and we might consider doing this even there even though that our inbox is still full there's still projects to do and the pantry is not quite stocked up yet so let's remind ourselves of what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam um Uh, to, uh, said about the month of ramadan and uh, we will go through the sermon inshallah tomorrow but uh, just to um, you know just to introduce it he said o oh people the month of allah which is ramadan has come with its mercies blessings and forgiveness allah has decreed this month to be the best of all months this is a month in which you have been invited by him to fast and pray allah has honored you in it okay so this is what we say when we mean by the fact that uh, we are responding to a divine invitation in this month and very often you know um as we get older and as uh, you know bodies become uh, tired and uh, age uh, fasting can be quite challenging and um uh, you know sometimes it's overwhelming to think how we're going to do it for 30 days and when we keep uh, reminding ourselves that uh, fasting with the stomach is his way of uh, of um, you know of inviting us to a spiritual banquet and again it's not about denying the fact that we might be uh, having some nerves at um, you know at being able to uh, to rise up to the occasion to fast in the way that it is meant to but let's uh, just spend a few intentional moments a day to savor the spiritual pleasures that await us to pray without looking at the clock and to pour our hearts out to the lord of the worlds whose guests we are in this month So let's uh, just reflect on a beautiful hadith of Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam. He tells us how to welcome the holy month. 
uh, and the welcoming starts, uh, the preparation starts from, from Rajab, in fact, and we're almost at the end of Shaban. And he says, surely most of Shaban has passed. And this is the last Friday of it. So he was obviously speaking on a Friday. So make up for what you have missed from the days that have passed by, making the most of the remaining days. This is such a hopeful message. You know, very often we get kind of discouraged because, you know, life is passing us by and we, you know, we tend to regret what we haven't done during the month. And what he's saying is that, you know, focus on the present, focus on the future, uh, make the most of what is still left rather than regretting what has already passed by. So beautiful, right? And then he says, be inclined towards that which concerns you and leave that which does not concern you. How beautiful, you know? Um, it, it's a really uh, beautiful way of saying, you know, let's focus on on uh, minding what is really important, you know? So often we... we um, uh, use our time in ways that don't concern us, you know, in other people's business, right? So let's focus on our business and let God take care of his business and let other people take care of their business. And he ends by saying, increasing, uh, increase your supplication and seek forgiveness and recitation of the Quran. Repent to Allah from your sins so that the month of Ramadan comes to you and you are cleansed for Allah. So very often we think that it will be at the end of the month that we will achieve this kind of forgiveness and cleansing, spiritual cleansing. And what the imam seems to be saying is that why not start now? Why not start before the month is upon us and uh, start the journey of cleansing so that when you are at the door of, as his guests at the bank, uh, at the spiritual banquet, that you're already prepared for it. Uh, and he says, uh, let there not be anything entrusted to you except that you have fulfilled it. Such a good, such good advice, because what he's saying is that, you know, when we have these kind of obligations to people, promises that we've made, uh, commitments that we've made, they do take up spiritual energy, you know, when we haven't uh, kind of fulfilled them. So why not enter the, the month with kind of taking care of the, you know, the, the details, you know, fulfilling our promises so that they're not robbing us. You know, I, I like to think of them as open loops and open loops really rob our energies. So why not uh, take a few moments to, you know, to do what we can to mend our um, commitments with people to fulfill them so that we can can, uh, be at uh, spiritual ease. And then he goes on to say, remove any dislike of a believer that harbors in your heart, stop any sin that you may be committing, be God conscious and rely on him in all your hidden and open matters. Whoever renders his trust in Allah, he suffices him. Indeed, Allah achieves his purpose. And he ends by quoting a verse from the Quran, uh, chapter 65, verse 2, where he says, certainly Allah has set a measure for everything. So that is our reflection for today. Inshallah, let's take uh, the last hours of, uh, of the month of Shaban to do what we can to kind of tie up loose ends so that we can focus our energies and our, uh, you know, our spiritual energies on this beautiful month that is awaiting us. Thank you and Salaam Alaikum.